The most common advice to people is when they just start a new thing is to stay consistent. And to be honest with you, if people would stay consistent and they would continue to do a thing, whatever it is that they want to do, then by following through, they would be able to achieve a really good amount of success. So for example, if you are aiming to get fit and you go to the gym regularly and you make sure you have good food in the kitchen as well, eventually you will get to the point where you have success. Being consistent is really a big part of the equation, but many people fail to mention that there is an initial emotional resistance to staying consistent. I am here to tell you there's a big reason why this is the case. You see, when you just start your new thing, whatever it is, whatever it is for you to video creation, or it's driving lessons, or you're trying to go and work out to the gym and you have these really awkward movements, what everything it is that you're doing, you don't have any familiarity or real uh, experience to be good at it yet. And because you're not good at it yet, everything you do is taking you more energy than other areas in your life. If you're somebody who, for example, can drive a car, driving for you seems very easy, but somebody who's just starting to drive a car, for them, all these maneuvers and movements are actually quite complicated. And it takes them a lot of energy to go through that experience. We often forget that there is always an initial emotional price that we have to pay to enter a new hobby, skill, area or expertise, whatever it is. And that price is also emotional, not only time and physical, we also are going through the emotions of realizing that something isn't working right away. And that is absolutely okay if we are not excellent at something, because there's a good reason, which is we don't have any experience in it yet. And I want to illustrate this, how this feels in making progress in something new. Let's do uh, kind of a quick example here. So we see that I have here quite a lot of books. They're not very thin, they're quite heavy. This is exactly what tends to happen when you start a new thing in your life, when you start to learn a new skill. It actually is quite heavy and the process of starting that thing and continuing going in every time is this is the kind of effort it requires. Now, the more you do it, the more efficient you become, the more experience you get, the lighter this stack becomes. And you take one away, the weight doesn't really change by a lot. It's just very light. Then you repeat again this thing that you want to do. So in my case, it's video creation. So I'm making another video. Gets a bit lighter, right? It, you see that it's getting lighter, but to me, it doesn't feel lighter right away. Fast forward four weeks, another book goes. Bam. The amount of books I have right now in my hands are less, but it still feels like I have a lot of weight. Now, if we are able to persist and repeat the same process and don't fall into the trap of stopping because it is a bit too hard in the beginning, then you can see that after every single time, this stack becomes less and less and less. And because it becomes less and less and less, at some point, you will feel Wow, the level of effort actually is now this small. I, I can I, I should actually do it. And if some more time, it actually becomes even smaller. It becomes like this. The purpose of this video is just to remind you that even though in the beginning, something might feel difficult, after some time, if you continue on the same path, if you stay true, regardless what happens, no matter the mood, no matter the obstacles, you find a way to complete it and you put in the repetitions, eventually become like this. And by the way, this is universally true for any area in your life, just timelines are different. And I'm pretty sure you can remember it based on your own life examples as well. If you were learning how to drive and the beginning driving was very really complicated, it became easier afterwards. If you're a new job, you might have thought, oh my God, I could never do this. Two years later, you're like, oh, I, I can, I'm actually quite doing it quite well. There are areas all like this in our own lives. So if this applies to one area of life, there's a very good chance it applies also to this part of our life. So my advice for you is please, regardless, just understand that there is an initial resistance and the more you will do it, the resistance will shrink over time, but it doesn't feel like it right away. It just takes a little bit more time. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Diego Basbeli. If you enjoy this kind of magical, heartwarming advice, consider subscribing to my channel, potentially liking it, potentially sending me some love in the comment section.